hello me again bin shopping i've got myself a new set of sticks because my old ones quite frankly were rubbish and i didn't buy proper ones in the first place i have gone and bought myself a manfrotto uh, set of aluminium legs 645 with a 612 nitro tech head it sounds very futuristic so why don't we have a little look at what's involved now the difference between stills tripods and video tripods is that stills tripods um, are intended to be locked and not moved and this this can be locked and not moved but the whole point of a video tripod is to get sometimes fluid movements as well as having lock off shots of course and this is the perfect head for that so and here is the nitrotech piston and it sounds very dramatic but essentially it's a nitrogen filled piston here this acts as the counterbalance see how the head springs back so that's that's the counterbalance working when it's perfectly balanced and the piston and the nitrotech head is doing its thing it will stay in whatever position we do it and i'll demonstrate that in a second when i pop the camera on this is a, a 100 millimeter uh, bowl and the head actually unscrews so you could take the head off and put that onto a slider if you have one too this is the, the counterbalance lever and that will adjust the, the tension in, in the piston this is the how much friction we have on the tilt and this is the lock so it I turn that all the way it stops moving completely so before we put the camera on we'll lock it off now the top of the tripod uses um the manfrotto plates but with with the rather than having to try and guide it in it just drops on so there we go so we cameras in one edge first click it in and then it's on now that's not going anywhere now it's important when you're balancing the camera like we spoke about last time with gimbals that you need to build the camera and the camera needs to be on the tripod how you want it so with the lens you're going to use with the if you've got a, an auto prompt or a teleprompt so the first thing to do is you, you're still got it a little bit loose which is what you need so when you put the the camera on and we've loosened off the uh, the tilt mechanism and everything else and you slide the camera so that you lose that that bouncing so now you can see there it's a lot more stable we've got it kind of there but obviously there's no tension the counterbalance isn't working at all because it's there's no you can see it's not staying in the right position so what you then do is you take this dial here and it's marked on plus and minus and so what you need you need to dial in you need to give it more oomph the counterbalance is is forcing see it's pushing itself back up and that's not what we want it's not designed to do that it's not designed to do the tilt and the move for me what we need to then do is it's too strong and if we, we need to then loosen off by um turning this the, the dialing out the, the pressure so when you keep doing this and what's happening is you'll see eventually it'll hit the sweet spot and it'll just hold in the position it needs to be in we're getting there still going a bit bit less bit less and there it is it's kind of there so wherever i put the camera it's not moving forward it's not trying to push itself back up it's trying to do it it's, it's kind of holding in the position i put it in which is actually really cool and if we if we want a a, a more a st or stiffer tilt um then we we can adjust the drag by by dialing it in here what you can do is um you can increase the, the drag so you can have more more or less drag so you can go from let's say full outfit wig shiny dress feather boa to you know maybe just a, a little evening dress <laughs> in less less drag more drag no terrible joke anyway but what you find is on on, on cheaper tripods and, and some people try and use the the locking mechanism to give you a um to give the tension and that doesn't work because it will just grind and it doesn't give you a smooth thing and you need to rely on the the, the beautiful fluidity and the, and the smoothness of the actual fluid in the head and the tilt head to do that so we can loosen that off and it will still pretty much give us that control if you're in the market for a video tripod and you want the best advice i would recommend doing what i did popping down to cvp in london i am super delighted with this i sound like an american youtuber like and subscribe pop over to cvp in london they will absolutely sort you out with the best tripod for your needs if you are looking for a tripod and i suggest you don't skimp on it because you buy once you buy well i sound like a second-hand car salesman but this will see you through this will see you through many years of health happiness and smooth pans and tilts i'll see you soon bye